Today, on the occasion of 4th February, that is World Cancer Day, we Integrated Cancer Treatment and Research Center welcome you all. At our center, we treat cancer patients with holistic approach under the able guidance of Dr. S. P. Sardeshmu, who is a well-known Ayurvedic physician, and Dr. Arvind Kulkarni, former radiation oncologist and director of oncology at our center. What does the holistic approach of cancer means? It is an amalgamation of conventional cancer treatment like surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, along with Ayurvedic treatment, which includes oral Ayurvedic medicine, panchakarma, rasayana chikitsa, healthy diet and lifestyle, and counseling. This holistic treatment helps cancer patients to improve their quality of life, control disease, and minimize side effects of chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Boosting moral of cancer patients is very important aspect of cancer management, which is not that much focused yet. Ayurveda, a science of life, highlights three main aspects of treatment of any disease, that is Daiva Vyapashray Chikitsa, meaning divining treatment, Yukti Vyapashray Chikitsa, meaning treatment with medicines, and Sattva Vajay Chikitsa, that is counselling. Today, on the occasion of World Cancer Day, we Integrated Cancer Treatment and Research Centre are going to conduct a series on importance of mental health in cancer patients and their relatives. Dr. Vasanti Godse, Assistant Director of our Centre and Expert Counsellor of Cancer Patients will conduct this series. Ayurved is the science of life. The word Ayurved is composed of two words, Ayu and Veda. The meaning of Ayu is life and Veda denotes for knowledge. So we can define Ayurved as the science which deals with the knowledge of life. The uniqueness of Ayurved as it gives importance to both physical as well as mental health. According to Ayurved, physical and mental health are interdependent. Ayurveda describes a healthy person whose doshas and agni, that is digestive power, are in equilibrium. The functional activities of dhatus, that is tissues, and mala, waste products, are in balance. And the atma, that is soul, indriya, senses, and mana, mind, feels well. This definition clearly indicates the importance of mental health. In research studies at our Integrated Cancer Treatment and Research Center, chronic mental stress and trauma are found to be risk factors in the pathogenesis of cancer, especially the cancer of breast, gastrointestinal cancer, liver cancer. A cancer diagnosis can have a substantial impact on mental health of cancer patient. Various factors related with cancer, for example, type of cancer, stage and grade and prognosis are likely to impact on psychological health of cancer patient. The feeling of loneliness, uncertainty about future are particularly seen in cancer patients with poor prognosis. Anxiety during cancer diagnosis can increase the risk of depression. The cancer treatments including chemotherapy, immunotherapy also may induce depression. Anxiety and depression both may hinder the cancer treatment and recovery as well as the quality of life and survival of cancer patient. So it is important for cancer patient to focus on both body and mind. Remember that there is always a hope and help. Most research studies about cancer and mental health have focused on the impact of cancer on patient's mental health specifically anxiety and depression. These studies have suggested that comorbidity of these emotional disturbances have a negative impact on physical morbidity and mortality in cancer patients. So in the journey of cancer treatment, 
Mental health plays an important role not only during the cancer treatment but also for recovery and for better prognosis. At our integrated cancer treatment and research center, at first visit of cancer patient, we always interact with cancer patient and their family members and counsel them to boost up their moral for their battle against cancer. Remember, there is can in cancer, so we can beat the cancer.